Today I want to show you a better way to follow up with your legendary marketer affiliates. To do this, we're going to use my free Chrome extension called LM Affiliate Extractor. LM of course stands for Legendary Marketer and this extension automatically downloads your legendary leads from your back office to a Google Sheet. From there, you can use Zapier to send this data over to your favorite autoresponder. As you guys know, Legendary Marketer has a great affiliate program that you can earn big commissions from, especially if you know how to properly follow up with all your leads. What I like about Legendary is that it provides detailed affiliate reports for both your leads and paying members. So you have access to their name, email address, phone number, tags, and last challenge they completed. This report can be downloaded to your computer, which you can then import into your autoresponder. But who really wants to do this? Having to manually import your contacts into your autoresponder every time you get a new lead is not really practical. You may do it once, but it's unlikely you do it on a regular basis. Wouldn't it be nice if you could fully automate this entire process? So that's what this Chrome extension does. And once you have it installed and running, you can do cool things like automatically push your leads and members to your autoresponder of choice, create different email sequences for both your non-paying leads and your paying members, send emails based on your members' progress in the 15-day challenge, and send automated SMS messages to your members. Let me show you how to install and use it. When you sign up over at lmaffiliateextractor.com, you'll be given a link to the extension on the Google Chrome Web Store. So I go over here and click this, add the Chrome button. And this dialog will pop up asking you to add the extension. And you can see it has been installed over here. Next, we need to create a blank Google Sheet which I have over here. So I'm going to copy the URL and then open the extension and then paste it into this text box over here. Next, I need to click the active button to activate things. Now, if this is your first time using the extension, you're going to be asked to authenticate using your Google account. This will give the extension the proper permissions to access your Google Sheet. And then you're all set. By default, the extension will try to download your reports every 60 minutes. But if you want to check right away, you can do so by clicking the Check Now button. Keep in mind that you need to be logged into your legendary back office for this to work. If you are not, you will notice a red X over the extension icon here, which tells you that you need to log in. Now, if I press the Check Now button, it's going to open a new tab and ask me to log into my legendary marketer account. The dialog will immediately close and you can see all my lead data has been pushed to the Google Sheet. Next, I'm going to show you how to use Zapier to take the data from my Google Sheet and push it to my autoresponder active campaign. So here we are in my active campaign account. So what we're going to do is create three new custom fields and to do that we go to forms and then Manage Fields. And I've already created these three custom fields in my account, but they're um, one for the funnel, the tag, and the last challenge day. So it's pretty simple to create a field in Active Campaign. Just do Add Field, and type in the field name here, and then the field type is Text Input. So we'll just keep that as default and click Add. So once you have the fields added in Active Campaign, we can go to Zapier. To create a Zap, I'm going to click the Make a Zap button. And our trigger app is going to be our Google Sheet. So we'll select it here. For the trigger event, we're going to choose New or Updated Spreadsheet Row. So basically, the Zap is going to be called whenever a new row gets added to our Google Sheet or one of the fields changes. And that can happen when the last challenge day field changes for a lead. So I'm going to select my Google Sheets account here. And then here for spreadsheet, I've called my spreadsheet um, LM permission. So let's select this one. And then the worksheet is sheet one. And then trigger call you can leave as is. I'll click test and continue to find some data from that existing sheet I have. Now our action app is going to be called 
calling um, active campaign. So the action event will be create or update contact. Uh, select my active campaign account. So um, whenever I create a new contact, I want to add it to my list, which I've created already. It's called legendary leads. So now we're basically mapping our Google Sheet fields to our active campaign contact. So email, I choose this email field. Um, and our reports, we have the full name. If they're a paying member, if they're lead, it usually just gets their first name. But we'll put that here in the full name field here, name. Phone number. So this test lead I have is a lead, so I don't actually have their phone number. But if I did have their phone number, use this um, phone field here. Let's go down to find the three custom fields that we created earlier. Um, so this is the funnel, choose funnel here. LM tag, there's the tag. And the last challenge day completed. So here we go. And hit continue. Now if I press this test and continue button, it's going to send this lead over to um, Active Campaign. Always remember to name your zaps. So I'm going to call it um, Google Sheet to, oops, to Active Campaign. And then last thing we have to do is just turn. Oh, first hit test, hit test and continue. And now we can turn this app on. And that takes a few moments. Now it's on. Now it will be working. The last thing I wanted to show you is how we can create an email sequence for non-paying members. These are the people that put in their name and email in the challenge funnel, but they don't actually pay the $7 to sign up. So for these people, we've created an email sequence where we try to convince them to pay the $7 for the challenge. But if they end up buying the challenge, we want to create an automation that takes them out of this first sequence and into a buyer sequence where our emails can be more focused on getting the buyers to complete the challenge and hopefully encouraging them to buy the upsells so we can earn some bigger commissions. So first I want to kind of show you the um, Google Sheet again and notice the um, funnel column. So for our non-paying leads, they're all going to be um, say something like lead-10 over here and if they actually took the uh, challenge, it's going to say online business builder challenge. So we're going to use this um, as a way to segment our leads in Active Campaign. So if we go back to my Active Campaign account, um, I've created this um, LM lead automation. So let's take a look at it. So the key piece of this um, automation is the trigger here. So we enter this automation if the contacts field um, LM funnel changes and that LM funnel contains the text lead. So Anyone that meets that criteria is a non-paying lead. So I have this email sequence here that it's a th three email sequence that kind of convinces our free leads to sign up and pay the $7 for the challenge. But if we go back, um, we can take a look at this automation I created for our paid um, members. So the trigger for this automation says, if the LM funnel field changes and it does not contain the text lead, then basically they're a paid member. So what I do is I add the tag LM paid. I tell it to exit the LM lead automation. So, they're no so if they're going through that free sequence, they exit out of that. And I haven't written the emails yet, but here I would add my follow-up sequence where I basically try to convince um, these contacts in this automation to go through the challenge and then hopefully buy some of the upsells. 
I hope this video gave you an idea of how LM Affiliate Extractor can help you improve your email follow-up sequences. I only covered one specific use case in this video, but having your affiliate data accessible with Zapier really opens up a lot of interesting possibilities that you can do with it. So please give this Chrome extension a try, and I hope it helps you make some more legendary marketer affiliate commissions.